So hello again and welcome to our latest video. This time we are looking at cleaning equipment once again. If you remember last time or in a different video, we, we looked at how we um, maintain our tripods. In fact, there's a link to, uh, to that video, I think up there actually. Um, and you can have a watch of that at some point, should you wish. There's also a link down in the, uh, in the notes below. And in that video, we looked at how to look after our tripod because our tripod takes a lot of battery and gets a lot of use. This time we're looking at something else that can get a little bit dirty from time to time, and that's our lenses. Now, when we all go out with our lenses, it's, they are gonna get dirt on them. They're gonna get splashed on the front. They're gonna get bits of moisture on the front uh, lenses. They're gonna get dirt around the buttons and stuff. And keeping them clean is, is, is important, um, but really the lenses themselves, the glass is, is massively important to keep them clean because what you don't want to do is go out and have a phenomenal day taking pictures and then come back and have muck all over your images because you've got muck on your lenses. Um, and they leave spots and marks and little dull areas. So if you can get rid of that before you even take the picture, that's really going to help. Now, what I tend to do is I tend to keep all my gear clean. Um, and I, if I go out with it, I tend to give it a quick clean when I get back. Now, I, I, I don't go overboard, don't get me wrong. I'm not one of these people that lays everything out when I get back and, and goes through it meticulously. I just tend to have a quick look at it and go, yeah, that's okay at the moment, or that needs a clean. Um, and and, and that's, how I, that's how I would normally do it. I wouldn't get into detail every time. But if I've been somewhere where it's quite sandy, for example, I will make, I'll take a, a moment just to try and get any sand out of the, uh, out of the button. Sand gets everywhere. Dust gets everywhere. And, and a lot of people kind of clean lenses in a way that, you know, I've done in the past and I, I'll still do every now and again if I'm completely honest, but it is risky. You'll, you'll look at a lens and you'll go, oh, there's a little bit of dirt on there. Bit of a breath and then you'll get your jumper and you'll give it a bit of that and you'll go oh much better and uh pop it back on your camera and away you go and really that's that's kind of the worst thing you can do um because you you, you are potentially damaging the surface of those lenses a lot of these lenses today have um little, little micro coatings on them for to stop reflection or to protect the lens or to remove UV or some kind of defect in the um, in the light that you might get, reduced flare, um, and, you, and you don't want to rub that off. It's difficult to rub off, don't get me wrong, but it, it is possible, especially with sand, because sand, although you think it's, you know, it's, it's nice and floats around, you're running it and you're playing it and, it and it's great stuff, but actually sand is minute rocks, and the last thing you want to be doing is rubbing rocks against the, the surface of your, of your lens, so it's really important to, um, to not rub stuff into your lenses. So, first thing, let's get rid of that one. First thing that I use, let's get rid of that, is a paintbrush. Good old paintbrush. This is a soft paintbrush. Um, uh, it's not, a, not an expensive paintbrush. It's not a special photography paintbrush. It's just a normal soft paintbrush. And, you know, after I've given the, 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 the body maybe a quick wipe, um, where if it's wet or damp, I'll use the paintbrush just to just to dust away and just to get into um, where, the, where the buttons are. Just, um, just get in there and make sure there's no bits of sand. I maybe, maybe just flick them across and do the other side. Just make sure there's no areas in there where, um, where's the sand. And also, you know, where the, where the join is um, between the, the barrel and the, and the focusing elements or something like that. Just, uh, just give it a bit of a brush all around and make sure around the knobs on the back. There we go, just around there. Make sure that there is no sand, no dirt, no dust. That's the first thing that I would use. Um, and you know, a, a brush like that, you know, almost invaluable. Second thing I'll do is I've given the outside a bit of a clean and a tidy, and I might, I might use a cloth just to uh, give it a wipe down, but I, you know, I try and get rid of the sand first, because once again, if you've, got a, if you've got a grain of sand and you get a cloth and you give it a good wipe, then you potentially can scratch the body of the lens. Now that's not overly important, that's an aesthetics thing, it's not going to stop it working in any way. Um, some people care about that, others don't. I've seen lenses that are absolutely mudded up to hell, but the glass on the front and the back is absolutely clean. Next, let's have a look at the lens. So, take our lens cap off, and this, this lens here, if we, if we hold it up to the light a little bit, we can see I do have some um, some dirt on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to show you how to how to remove that. 
The first tool I will always use, and I take, keep one of these in my bag, in my camera bag, it goes everywhere with me, is one of these. The little pocket rocket thing. I think this is a Gitto, or it's not a Gitto, it's a Gitto. There's loads of them around, all different types, manufacturers, designs, and they're all the same, basically. They're, a, they're a, an, an air pouch with a tube on the end, and when you squeeze it, air comes out. Now, you'll notice I took that out of a bag, and, and, and one of my top tips, really, is you need one of these, and you need to keep it in a bag. And, and there's a really simple reason for that. This is a, a like this, this pocket area. It's got a hole on one end where it sucks air in, and it's got a hole on the other end where it blows air out. And it, it, it's a very simple mechanism. If you put that in your camera bag, oh, if you put that in your camera bag and just leave it there, as it's kind of sat there during the day and you're putting things in and out of your bag and it's just sort of squashing it a little bit and it's opening it up a little bit and squashing a little bit. What it's doing is drawing air in through the bottom hole and anything else that's light enough that's in your bag that can get sucked in there. And our camera bags, they're, they're normally quite clean, but you will go around the edges. You'll find dirt and dust and rubbish. And what you don't want to do is... Um, get it all sort of sucked into there during the day because it's in, a, it's in an environment that's just maybe a little bit dirty, maybe not as clean as you want, and there's dust around. You don't want it coming into there because as soon as you take this and squirt it on the front of your lens, or even worse, inside of your camera to where your sensor is, you could potentially be spraying all sorts of dust and dirt into your camera. So you want to keep the inside of this clean, and the way to do that is keep it in a plastic bag. So. The way to use this, I almost don't need to explain it. You take your, and you just literally do that. Because, you know, let's do the back lens as well, because we often forgotten about. There is a lens at the back as well, and people often forget about that one. The best way to get rid of muck and dirt is without touching it. Because if you can do it without touching it, you're, you're reducing that risk of scratching the surface of the glass. So let's have a look at that back lens. That back lens is absolutely spot on. So I'm going to put that back cover back on. And what I'm also going to do is blow anything out of the, out the cover and just bob that back on. And let's have a look at that front. Now that front does have a mark on it actually. Um, and I can see, you won't be able to see that, I'm sure. Uh, to remove it around there so you can see that. There is a mark on it. So the second thing I'll do is I'll give that a brush to see if I can brush that mark out. For this one, I don't use a paintbrush. People do use paintbrushes. Um, I've acquired somehow from somewhere one of these little retractable brushes, really quite strong, it's, it's a lens brush. And um, you can use that just to, just to paint across the surface. Try and do it in, in little circular mark. Yeah. Just brush around and see if you can get rid of that mark. Not heavy, you're not pushing on hard, you're just kind of doing it quite quite lightly. And uh, and then let's, let's see what that looks like. Well, that looks a damn sight better to be fair. Uh, but I do still have a little mark in that, on that lens. It's probably a bit of fingerprint or it might be a, a grease spot. It's something, something's touched that lens. It's not dirt, it's not dust, it's not grit. It's just a little kind of oil smear or maybe probably off someone's finger. Um, and the way to get rid of that, you know, this is time to get the cloths out. Now, two things. Now, there's lots of people recommend lots of different kind of cloths, and I'm probably going to do the same now, but I would say don't spend all your money getting cloths. I mean, I use these microfiber cloths, actually, and you get them from any supermarket. They're, they're pretty good. I buy them in bulk from, uh, from Amazon, um, and I use them for uh, a little while, um, and then I throw them away. They're cheap enough to do that. You don't want to be washing these because these, these come, they've got no lint in them, they've got no dirt on them, they're super soft, they're great. But as soon as you've used them or you've washed them or you've used them for something else, the dirt on them and, and that's, that's time to get rid of them. Um, so the first thing I would do is I'd use one of these uh, microfiber cloths and uh, i just look at the, the lens element and i just give it circular motion, just round and about roughly where that mark is and just see if I can get rid of that mark. That's all I'm doing, nice and gently. I'm not rubbing hard. I'm just seeing if I can get rid of that little grease spot. And actually, um, that has pretty much gone. 
You don't need to do this. The thing about grease and when you touch a, touch a, a, a lens, you do leave a mark on it, and it, it doesn't it doesn't always need a lot of moving. It, it, you can get rid of it very easily. It's just a very soft cloth, um, not one that doesn't leave lint anywhere, and that's why I use this. And once again, keep this in your camera bag and keep it in a bag of its own. Um, I keep mine this this in these bags together normally, um, and because that's all the clean stuff together, it keeps it nice and dry, keeps all the dirt off it, keeps the dust off it, and it uh, just makes it easy. But just you know, circular motion on, on there. Now, if your dirt is a little bit stubborn, you might want to use some products on there. And, and I've got a, a lens cleaner here. Now, what I don't want to do is I don't want to just go full square onto the, uh, onto the lens because actually it's too much and it's too much liquid and I don't like putting that much liquid and that much cleaner on my, uh, on my lenses. So what I will do is I will get my cloth and I will you know, just fold up so I've got a little corner there and then I will squirt like that. Not, not even, I did two squares there because the first one absolutely missed. Um, I just want to get that into the air, of the, in, into the stream of that square. I don't want to get a lot on there. And then once again, I'm just going to put it on there and I'm just a nice circular motion, just roughly around about where that, where that mark is. And I'm doing it light and I'm not doing it heavy. And as you'll see there, that now has absolutely gone. And I'm just gonna finish it off with a soft side again, which is completely dry. And there we go. Now that lens is clean and ready to go. So I will fold up my little cloth, put that back in its bag, get my little blower, put that back in its bag, roll that up, and we're done. That's how to clean. I would also probably give that a bit of a blow with a blower as well, just because sometimes these mechanisms that, uh, that live in your lens cap uh, can sometimes get a bit of dirt or dust caught in there. So it's always just give that a bit of a blow. Um, and then when we go like that, take our sun guard on, put it there. And that's our lens um, all nice and clean. In another video, we will have a look at how to clean your camera and the sensor, um, which is always something that, that frightens people. So keep a look out for that video, which will be coming, uh, coming very soon. In the meantime, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and don't forget, down in this corner over here, subscribe um, to our channel because we, we'd love you to subscribe and watch all our videos and uh, engage with us. So just fingers up, thumbs, little button down there, hit the thumbs, leave a comment. And uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time.